Hello and welcome to Bible with Bernie. I'm your host, and today we're going to read Psalm 61. Let's open in a word of prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, Lord, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vow. So praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A few thoughts for you. Are you in over your head today? Amen. I mean, there's going to be plenty of times. Look at verse 2. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. There's going to be plenty of times in life when we are going to be over our heads. Amen? Uh, it's then that we are reminded that Jesus, God, is our rock that we can stand up out of the drowning pool of life with. Praise the Lord. We can count on Jesus. But we don't have to wait till we're drowning. We, as we spend our time in the Word every day, we know the path to that higher rock. We know the path to higher elevation sooner than later. Instead of the last minute, we're already ready. We, the, when, the, when the waves of life start coming up, we, we're right there. We just grab onto the Lord, and He delivers us, doesn't He? Amen. With His Word. In other ways, in verse 3, For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Praise the Lord. God tells us over and over and over that he will protect and fight our battles for us if we will just turn to him. Amen. Amen. Look at verse 4. Look at verse 4. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. The definition of covert. Look this up in the King James Version Dictionary. Covert means covered, hid, private, secret, concealed, sheltered, not open or exposed. Hey, when things are getting tough, people are coming against you, life gets out of control. God provides a secret and hidden protected place for us in the midst of the battle. Amen? Praise the Lord. Look at verse 7. He shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. Verse 7. God in life, you know, we need to stay close to God in life, don't we? So that we can live for eternity before him. Praise the Lord. God's mercy and truth preserve us. Amen? Our repentance and obedience pleases him. Praise the Lord. Look at verse 8. Look at verse 8. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever that I may daily perform my vows. Praise God. We can sing praise to God forever. Some better than others. Others, but I think that our voices will all sound just as sweet to the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is God and he made he has made a way for us to have mercy through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We can spend our days in pleasing obedience to his word and have true joy and happiness serving and praising the Lord. That's what we were created to do, to serve, to be doers of the word and, and to praise him. There's no 
happier place than that. Let's close in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word, God. We ask you to bless us and protect us and watch over us and help us be mindful of your incredible mercy and truth, Lord. Help us to focus on the things that please you as we walk with you, Lord. Please be with us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a great day. Keep on praising the Lord.